everyone, I'm Beaky Alish Taylor, or Beaky Fishers on Instagram, and this is my great friend, Gilly Bait. Um, we met a couple of years ago, we were introduced by mutual friends, or a mutual friend, um, who knew we both love fishing, introduced us at lunch and then didn't get a look in, basically. <laughs> no, she did, poor girl, in fact, um, I feel, I don't think we've ever seen her since actually, but anyway, it was fortuitous that we met. It was very fortuitous. And we started fishing all over the place now, and uh, it's been amazing having uh, a friend who is as passionate and crazy about it as I am. <laughs> yeah, well, we're very lucky. We live ten minutes away from uh, each other, so I can call her up of an evening and say, "Fancy an hour or five on the river," and did, she's there. But did you like it before you'd started fishing? Were, did you think it was going to be loads of fun, or do you think it was a bit dull? I didn't. I have to be honest. I was introduced to it when I was seven um, by my parents, who both loved fishing, and I found it a little bit boring during my childhood. Um, because they weren't really interested in teaching me. I was just there because they loved it. Nobody really showed me what to do. Um, as I've got older and, and met Jilly, uh, I've just found it is such a fantastic sport for so many reasons. I mean, A, I feel very lucky to have a, a hobby that, that gets me so focused and, and keeps me very calm. I'd say emotionally calm. Um, you don't have time to think about anything else. And we were talking earlier about in these troubled times, it's, it's, I think many people's lives are going to change a lot, aren't they? What were you saying earlier? I, I, th I think basically with COVID, I think uh, the entire thing for the whole country in lockdown, it, you know, it's, it's damaged so many people mentally. And I think coming out of this, I mean, we're lucky down south, we can now fish and I'm sorry for you guys in, in Wales and Ireland, Scotland, I hope you can fish soon, but I think people now that they're reassessing their life in every way because people now want to, they want to spend time in the countryside. This thing, everybody wants to get to the park. Why? We need to be in the outdoors. It's where we heal. And I think fly fishing is an amazing thing in that it takes you, we have an incredible country and we've got, we go to beautiful places. You never lakes. fish somewhere ugly. You never, and, and I think it's connecting, it's reconnecting. We need to reconnect with nature. And I think fly fishing is one of those things on every level, you are out there and, and you're gone. Your mind is, it's a bit like you go to bed at night and you sleep and you wake up and you're, oh, back, you know, start again. When I fish, it's like I've had an eight hour sleep. Okay, I'm physically tired. Sometimes I'm exhausted. I, mentally I'm tired actually, because you're focusing on the fish. I can't, I, it, but basically- but it clears your mind. It clears your mind. All that rubbish and all those worries and all that stress. You don't have time to out. think about anything other than fishing. No. And, and I'm a nicer person. I know I go home and my family like me much better. My daughter's after, been desperate for me to go fishing. After I've been fishing, and I think, uh, but I think people are are definitely wanting to to reconnect with with being outdoors. And it's and the other thing we were saying is, who knows where we're going to be able to travel or when we're going to be able to travel yeah. again. But actually, you don't need to go far to have a fantastic holiday. We, we're an island. We've got a great coastline and a network of amazing rivers. Um, and we've got fishing on the coast. You can you can fly fish for sea bass. There's mullet. There's all stuff. I think wherever you live in the country, you can just um, just Google your area. You know, if you live in Hampshire, or if you live in, you know, um, I can't think of any, wherever Yorkshire, you live, Yorkshire, Scotland, just Devon. Google it and fly fishing and see what comes up, and you'll find fisheries. There'll be lakes. There's a lot of fisheries give tuition. Um, people think a lot of it's companies quite an do tuition. Sport. All this do tuition. You know, people think. I think it's seen as a very exclusive. Sport, yeah, possibly and expensive, maybe male dominated, but it doesn't have to be like not that. Not now. I think I think maybe it was a long time ago, although women have fished for a very long time, just kept it quiet. But I think uh, <laughs> on the down low. Yeah, exactly. But I, I really think it doesn't matter whether you're nine or you're ninety, it doesn't matter, you know, anybody can fish. There are, if you want to give it a go, there are opportunities throughout the country and I think Don't you think people are very um, inclusive as well? There's yeah. a great network of people. Oh, massive. I mean, at the moment, there's a lot on Instagram, um, but there's just a, off Instagram too, there's a fantastic network of people that love fishing. And if you show an interest, they and show that help. you're serious, they want to help you. And, Every, and, and you share, I mean, I have met, I've made so many friends all, all over the country. Me too. From fly fishing, that's incredible. All different ages, all different walks of life. Yeah. But when we're on the river or when we're fishing on a lake, when we're in the sea, we're all the same. And we've all got the same chance of catching. You can have a total beginner who's never fished before. 
they catch a fish and you don't. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And I like the fact it can be very sociable or not. So we fish together yeah. often. Sometimes we'll fish together, we'll share a rod, shoulder to shoulder, obviously not at the moment, uh, and we'll have a great time chatting, stalking a fish, taking it in turns. Yeah. Other times we'll meet, discuss and what we're, we're going to put on, we? and then we're, we're gone. And we might not see each other for a few hours. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great sport. What would you say to people who think it's boring? Because quite often, when I say I fish, people look at me like I'm crazy, go, really? Is it not boring? I well, mean, yeah, you, a lot of people, and I, and I kind of get that, but I think people envisage that you're stood by the side of some kind of muddy hole there, and you're, you're just waiting. No, you're looking, you're just trying to catch the fish. And when you're you stalking get, when and you get on, on it's like, oh and... my word, and you're freighting it. And, and it's, you know, we do a lot of trout fishing, but there's all sorts of different fish that you can, yeah. you can fly fish for. And on a river, for me, you know, you, I think you change, the longer you fish, the, the more you do slightly, you change in how you want to go fishing. But for me now, watching a fish, figuring out what it's doing, figuring out what it's taking, looking at the insects, and when you get that right fly, you tried maybe a few others and the fish is like, no, I don't think so, not for a million years. And you get it right and the fish comes up and it's like, yes, yes. Yeah. And it doesn't even matter it's, if it gets off, it's just like, yes, I fooled it. And that's the excitement, you know, it's, you can't believe something, you know, what would the brain capacity be on the trout? But they are so clever. Yeah, way, way too clever sometimes. <laughs> and it's the challenge and you'll have good days and you have bad days. That's it. it you know, it's but a fantastic it's sport. Um, it's great fun, it can be very sociable, it is accessible despite what you might think and we really hope that some of you might be inspired to give it a go. Give it a go and see, see what it does to your mind. Hopefully the right thing. <laughs> great fun.